Also, remember that God will never remove something from your life if he didn't have something better to replace it. Angels come down. They approach Lot, Lot's wife, and his daughters. Sodom and Gomorrah are going to be destroyed. You need to run to the mountain. Do not look back. What does Lot's wife do? She is the only one that looks back. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I also am holding the microphone because I don't have like a stand to put it on. And so sorry if this is really weird. And also I really like the microphone just because it's not um, as echoey. I am so excited for you guys to join me today on today's video because I am seriously just speaking from my heart. Like I do not have a script in front of me. I do not have bullet points on what I want to touch on. This is seriously just something that I'm going through that I really do want to share with you that can hopefully encourage you in some way. And if you clicked on today's video, you will know that I'm talking about not looking back, not longing for the familiar, but instead being open to change, being open to what God has in store for you because God knows best, right? I'm going to reference some scriptures as well, just because I feel like these key points really, really hit home and um, can really just stir something in you. As some of you may know, if you have watched my video uh, before, I want to say two videos ago, it was basically about me getting a new job. And as also some of you may know, I was let go in my job in August. I was laid off. And at that point, I was really, really frustrated. I was like, God, I have all these bills coming up. I have a dog to pay for. I have student loans to pay for. Like, how in the world am I going to be laid off from my job? I need an income, right? Oh, so I remember distinctly listening to a podcast. I completely forgot the name, but I just remember hearing that if you're going through change, if you're going through something, like open up his word, okay? Because you will find so much comfort in that. And so I open up his word, I start reading it, I start meditating on it, I start praying more than ever, and I start sharing it. I start sharing what I'm going through and what I'm experiencing at my own personal life to all of you. I received so much great feedback. So fast forward, after I lost my job, I had a lot of free time, right? Um, every single day I was waking up and if I wanted to go see my parents, I would go see my parents. If I wanted to hop on, uh, YouTube and film a little clip, I would do that. If I wanted to film a little IG reel, I do that. If I wanted to take my dog on like seven walks, I do it. And I, as someone that was very routine, really, really lost a routine. Like I, I still would work out in the morning. Like I did. I still would really wake up early, even though I had no reason to wake up early and work out. Um, there were things that I was going through that I felt like God wants me to um, make a living sharing God's word, right? And so I had this goal in mind. I was like, okay, I'm going to get monetized on YouTube. I'm going to make this, all this money, just supplement my full-time job, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, it didn't work. It didn't, didn't happen. And it didn't work because I was expecting God to show up in my life in a certain way. And now to this day, I look back and I'm like, you know what? I was missing what God was doing this whole time because what he was doing was not what I was asking for. So essentially I was missing him doing anything, if that makes sense. Like we oftentimes, and you could probably relate to this, like we expect God to show up in ways that just satisfy our needs, satisfy our wants, right? And instead of me going to God and be like, hey God, whatever you have for me, I will do. Whatever you you have next for me, I trust in you. I have faith in you. I, I am... I'm willing to surrender everything at your feet. And that wasn't until a few weeks in where I really was like, you know what? Okay, I trust you. I can't, I can't rely on my own strength. Just like it says in Proverbs 3, verse 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Submit all your ways to him and he will make your path straight. Like, again, he will make your path straight, not you. And so if you came across this video and you are going through maybe a season of change, maybe something where you're like, what's God doing in my life? I don't hear from him. What's really been on my heart uh, the past couple of weeks is the 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 tagline of like do not look back and and I say all this because in Genesis chapter 19 if you guys aren't familiar with the story I really really recommend you read it but basically angels come down they approach Lot Lot's wife and his daughters and basically say Sodom and Gomorrah are going to be destroyed you need to leave you need to run to the mountain do not look back. What does Lot's wife do? She is the only one that looks back. 
And in turn, she turns to a pillar of salt. So in the Bible, God tells us to remember Lot's wife. And many people, many like resources, you'll find, you know, why is that? I remember Lot's wife. Like she has no name. (laughs) She is so, and I don't want to say she's insignificant, but she's not a Mary Magdalene. She's not Mary, Jesus's mom. She's not Esther. She's not Deborah. Like She is someone that is mentioned twice, once in the Old Testament, once in the New Testament, and we don't even know her name, yet God tells us to remember her. And so why? Why remember someone so insignificant, right? And you guys, why? Because we as human beings tend to look back a lot. Like we we long for the familiar, even me. I was so comfortable waking up didn't have to worry about a job, was going to my parents, was spending so much quality time with them, was um, making YouTube videos, was making content videos, all this kind of stuff at my leisure. And I was so comfortable where I was that I was actually scared to get another job. I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just work with my dad. Maybe I'll just work with my mom for the time being. Or, you know, hopefully I can get monetized on YouTube and never go back to a full-time job and all this stuff. So, I had all these thoughts in my head because I was so familiar and so comfortable with where I was. I was missing God's mark on what he was doing because I was not willing to let go of it, right? When I would get interviews, when I would uh, apply to all these jobs, I kind of got to a point where I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm kind of just going to like half butt it. Like maybe God doesn't want me to get a job, right? And so I kept telling myself like, I'm really comfortable, you know, maybe I'll I'll apply to some, some jobs, but hopefully like, hopefully, you know, it doesn't really work out. Right. And it was just, it's crazy because so often as human beings can get so frustrated with rejection or so frustrated with what God is doing in our lives, because we don't want to take a leap of faith. We don't want to go forward. We want to stay where we are. We are making all this money. We're happy with our kids. We, my marriage is going really well. So why would I do this? Or why would I move states when I just got a new job? Like we never know God's intentions of him doing something in our lives because because it's change and it's scary. If you are going through a season of change, I just want to encourage you, ask God, what can I learn from here? Like, what are you doing in my life that I can learn and know and really, really be aware like he is doing something on your behalf and you may not even realize or know of it. Okay. But don't miss God's call on your life because you are so caught up in worldly things. You're so caught up in your own selfish desires. Also remember that God will never remove something from your life if he didn't have something better to replace it. Like For me, when I got the interview for the job that I took, find out that it is a five out of five day in office job. Something you guys completely that I did not want. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be able to make um, content. I was just looking back at my life. I remember calling my dad and mom and I was like, mom, dad, I don't think I'm going to accept it because, you know, I just, I really, really would like to like make all this content. I really would like to do this. And I just remember on the phone when I was saying that, I was like, what, who am I to not step into what God has called me? When I was offered the job, even when I felt unqualified for it, I am still like, "Mm, I might just decline it because I'm kind of scared. Like, I really do want to just grow my YouTube channel and like stick to that. Do not be like Lot's wife. Don't keep longing for what's familiar. Don't keep longing for the comfortable because the more you stay in your comfortable state, the more you do not take the leap of faith. I truly believe that every stepping stone that you are missing is not directing you on the path that God wants you to go. And so I just encourage you today that if you are also going through a season of change, if you are scared because you're familiar with what is behind you, Do not look back. Look forward because God is doing immeasurably abundantly more things for you. You may not notice it. You may not understand, but it is not up to us to understand. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and give you a future. Another verse that you can apply is ask and it will be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. If we are not doing these things, if we are not asking, if we are not knocking, if we are not seeking, we will not get what God has for us. I just pray. And so 
my prayer for you guys is a do not stay where you are. Do not stay stagnant because you are comfortable where you are. You are comfortable making that amount of money. You are comfortable doing that. You're comfortable staying in the state because the school system's really good. Like we need to step in to what God has for us, what God has on our heart. And a lot of the times it's going to be scary. Like had I not lost my job months ago, I would have never realized the opportunity or or the thing that God is stirring in my heart right now. I would have never been exposed to the job that I'm at right now. And I'm so excited, you guys, to be there. Like two weeks in, I love it. And I'm so grateful. I understand what God is doing. And I will definitely talk more about that. But it is just, it's so riveting. It's, it's so relieving to know that he is working on our behalf when we don't even think it. Like he is doing so much more in us when we do not realize it. I feel like a lot of times we actually don't know what God is doing. We don't feel what God is doing. We may not see what God is doing. And that's what makes it so much better because like months later, years go by, you're like, oh my goodness. Like here, I would have never thought By the grace of God, he would have delivered me from there to this. I would have never thought I would have been here. I would have never thought that he would give me this. Like, so I just want to encourage you guys. I know this is like a rambling thing, but just be open to change. Be open to what he has in store for you because it is so, so good. Open up your Bible. Pray, okay? Don't be scared to ask God for things, but also know that if you're not getting it or if you're not receiving it, it's for a reason. And it might not be on his timing. It might not be something that he wants for you. It might be, or it's the complete opposite of what you want. And he has something better in store for you. So I just want to encourage you to keep going, keep moving forward. Stop stop, stop missing what God is doing. Stop not taking these opportunities because you're scared of change. Like change is inevitable. It's going to happen. We need to understand and we need to grow. We need to learn. We need to adapt to different things. Do not be like Lot's wife and look back because when you look back and you long for the familiar, you're preventing yourself from going forward. And I don't know about you, but like that terrifies me. So I hope you guys like this video. I'm sorry that it was so straightforward and blunt, but like I really just felt like this was on my heart for a while. And so if you have not subscribed already, (laughs) I hope you subscribe. Um, I hope you guys like this and I will see you in my next one. Bye.